The wild dogs behind him, get some contact. And he hit him in the rear and grabbed another gear, still rolling to victory lane. He said, boy, you do you know how to feel for long three miles? Yeah, I got him on the top side. He said, he has a little bit of that. Three wide, three wide. Here comes Landback on the top side. Four wide on the third one. Looking for a ride. Four wide to fourth on back. Well, Scotty too hotty, Scotty DeYoung making his debut for the 2018 season here at the Rapid Speedway tonight in that uh, orange, purple, and black number 58 machine. Of course, he the defending uh, point champion over at the uh, Nobles County Speedway in Worthington. So we'll see what Scotty has right out the gate. Green flag is in the air. We are racing tonight's sportsman class under green. Josh Huseman with a little pest control in that 25 machine. Marnie DeBoer all out of sorts in the 50M. Slides to a stop in the muddy muck down to the bottom of uh, turns one and two off of the racing surface. And I believe Marnie Dunn got stuck. So the caution flag will come out. The amount of water that was down there, I don't think you want to be playing in that area. No, that is not fun. And once again, folks, six laps is the distance here on heat race number one. We're back under green. Brian Crowen off the front row and off like a ruptured duck. He's off to the early race lead. That number 14 machine, Josh Huseman, will take over the second spot. Scotty DeYoung slowing in that 58 at the top side of the back stretch. P.J. Stoner will get to the inside of DeYoung for third position. Right behind DeYoung is the 46-7 of Jacob Foster out of Melvin, Iowa. Only 12 years old, Jacob Foster of Melvin, Iowa, helping cure kids' cancer with that 46-7 machine. Well, Josh Huseman, smoke coming out of the back of that 25, but still looking pretty fast. He's got a solid hold on that second spot. And Brian Crone up at the front all by himself in the 14 machine as the caution flag comes out. Caution coming out for the 46-7 of Jacob Foster on the top side of the track of the backstretch. Jacob Foster there, a little high center there on the top of the backstretch. He brings out the caution flag for coming out and doing the filming for us. Oh, they do a mighty fine job, and not just the Rapid Speedway. Check out the tracks they cover. AdvantageRacing.tv, green flag back in the air. Heat race number one of two for the Lens Auto Recycler Sportsman class. And Brian Crone once again up front and off to the lead. Josh Huseman will hold on to that second spot. P.J. Stoner in third. Scotty DeYoung at the back of the pack in the 58. And then there were four here in heat race number one of two for the sportsman class. Brian Crone, your race leader to the flag stand. Brian Crone, Josh Huseman, P.J. Stoner. And a drive shaft on the track for the 25 of Josh Huseman. He'll come to a slow. And there would be your smoking issue. Ed Plankman, Cody Johnson at the ready. Brian Crone, P.J. Stoner, and Scotty DeYoung left here in heat race number one of two for the Lems Auto Recycler Sportsman back under green. Drone will jump off to that early race lead once again. P.J. Stoner in the second spot. Scotty DeYoung running in at third position. Once again, that 58 of DeYoung misses his uh, maiden voyage for the 2018 season in that 58 machine as he'll try out the high side. P.J. Stoner in second spot, but he's got company. Here comes Scotty too. Hottie, Scotty DeYoung in the 58 machine looking to give Stoner a run for that second spot on the track. The 14 of Brian Crone, your race leader, coming off of turn number four. Two laps to go. Two laps remain in tonight's heat race. Heat race number one of two for the Lems Auto Recycler Sportsman class. We'll have three hobby stock heat races coming your way following the conclusion of the Sportsman heat races. Brian Crone to the white flag this time by. One lap left for the number 14 machine of Brian Crone, your current race leader. Young and Stoner, this battle's heating up for that second spot. 
As the young is pulled just about even with the four of P.J. Stoner, they'll battle it off entering two. Meanwhile, exiting three, our race leader and our race winner. Heat race number one to the 14 of Brian Crone. Brian Crone with that heat race win. P.J. Stoner in second and Scotty Tuhati coming home in third. The number 94, that's Tyler Bradley. Six laps the distance as we go green. Head flag man Cody Johnson. Green flag is in the air. Heat race number two up to for the Lems Auto Recycler Sportsman class. Off of the front row early, the 14K of Bryant Claus into the early race lead, but here comes the number 50 of Roger DeBoer, followed by the 44 of Leon Sneller. A couple of green machines running second and third. Brandon Jerns running in that fourth spot, and Tyler Bradley in the back of the pack. Single file for the time being. Here on lap number one of heat race number two for the Lems Auto Recycler Sportsman class. Bryant Clausen, a feature winner here at the Rapid Speedway in that 14K machine. He's off to the early heat race lead. Roger DeBoer in second position. Leon Sneller running in third. And Brandon Jurens looking to get up into that third spot right behind Leon. Problems with the 50 of Roger DeBoer as he slows. Not a good start to the night for Big Boar Race. And Marnie getting stuck in the mud in heat race number one. And now Roger slows here in heat race number two in that 50 machine. And he'll have to retire from his respective heat race. Brian Clawson, your race leader, coming off of four and down the front strip. Leon Sneller running in second position, and that gap between second and third is closing. Brandon Jurens on the attack in the number 19 machine. Looking to take that second spot from Sneller. Jurens makes a move to the inside. They're side by side down the back, stretching off into turn number three. Brian Clawson leads them to two to go. Brandon Jurens to the inside of Leon Sneller. This is a battle for second spot. Sneller still too strong in that green number 44. Leon Sneller hanging on to second position. Brandon Jurens in third and Tyler Bradley at the back of the pack. Second and final heat race for the Lemzano Recycler Sportsman Class. White flag is out for Bryant Clausen, your race leader. Bryant Clausen, Leon Sneller. Brandon Jurens and Tyler Bradley as we fly around the Rapid Speedway sportsman style. Lems Auto Recycler Sportsman Class Heat Race number two going to the 14K of Bryant Clausen. Brian Clawson with a heat race win. Leon Sneller in the second spot, just behind him. Brandon Jurens in third, and Tyler Bradley rounding out your field. A ah, few fireworks on display here tonight. Make sure you check out the fireworks store in their seven locations in South Dakota. In the Marlins parking lot over there by Brandon as well. We also got some ticket or some fireworks from It's Lit Fireworks right here in Rock Rapids. Yeah, keep your business local. It's Lit Fireworks here in Rock Rapids. First A feature of the night. Well, technically the second, but it's a feature time. Here's the Lems Auto Recycler Sportsman. Right up front off row number one, it is Bryant Claus into the early race lead. Bryant Crone will settle into that second spot. Here comes the green machine of Leon Sneller. Sneller in the 44 at third. Brandon Jurens coming back on the bottom side in the 19. Looking to put up a challenge for that third spot. Brian Clawson, your race leader with Brian Crone right behind him. Sneller and Jurens make out your top four. P.J. Stoner in fifth spot, the 58 of Scotty Tuhati. Scotty DeYoung running in sixth position, followed by Bradley and Foster. Brandon Jurens looking to the inside of Leon Sneller for that third position as Clawson continues to lead. Two laps down in our Sportsman A feature here tonight. Ten laps the distance. A Sportsman class presented by Lems Auto Recyclers on a weird smoke wedding weekend. Here at the Rapid Speedway, Bryant Clawson, your race leader. Brian Crone in second, Leon Sneller, and Brandon Durant, your top four. Clawson and Crone, one and two. 
Miller and Durance three and four. P.J. Stoner at fifth, but here comes Scotty too Hotty. Scotty DeYoung in the 58 looking to get around that four of P.J. Stoner. As Brian Clawson, his lead starts to shrink. The 14 of Brian Crone is coming. P.J. Stoner, a little rattled by the company, gets a little slideways on the inside of turn four. And Scotty DeYoung will get around in the 58. Scotty DeYoung has moved himself into the top five in that 58 machine. Halfway this time by Brian Clawson, leading Brian Crone in our Sportsman A feature. Brian Clawson, Brian Crone, Leon Steller, Brandon Jurens, your top four. Brian Clawson, your race leader over Brian Crone. Leon Stella running the third spot, Brandon Durance fourth, Scotty DeYoung in fifth, P.J. Stoner, Bradley, and Foster round out the field. As Clawson looking to hold off Crone, it's been this way for much of the race, but Crone really chews into that lead at the top side of turns three and four. We'll see what Brian Crone elects to do when it comes down, the time to get down. Brian Clawson, your race leader over Brian Crone. Leon Stella running in third spot. Brandon Jurens in fourth. Here comes Scotty Tuhati with a right rear down. Weeblin and Loblin down the front stretch in that 58, and he's going to lose some position. P.J. Stoner, Tyler Bradley, Jacob Foster all getting around Scotty DeYoung, and the caution will come out. Caution coming out for the 58 of Scotty Tuhati losing a right rear in the midst of our Sportsman A feature here tonight. Alec Andres, or Andres, Andres. You are a trophy presenter at the end of this uh, Sportsman's race, so Alec, get on down to the flag stand. Following the conclusion of this Sportsman A feature, back under green. Brian Clausen, your race leader. Brian Crone in second spot. Leon Stella running in third. And Brandon Jurens, your top four. Tyler Bradley working to the inside of P.J. Stoner for that fifth spot. Sneller going low. Jurens going high. They're going to get side by side for third. Not quite. Jurens quite didn't have the run on the high side we anticipated him to have. Brian Clausen and Brian Crone running one and two. Sneller and Jurens three and four. Tyler Bradley in fifth, but he's got company in the form of P.J. Stoner and a hard charge in 58 of Scotty DeYoung. The white is out for Brian Clausen. Brian Clausen, your race leader on the top side. The 14 of Brian Crone dogging him. He'll follow him around the top side, down the back stretch into turns three and four. We'll see if Crone will take a dip for the lead. Brian Crone does, nothing doing there. Checkers coming out for the 14K of Brian Lawson. Brian Clawson, your race winner for the Sportsman A feature here tonight. Brian Crone coming home in second spot. Leon Sneller in third. Brandon Jurens running fourth. And Tyler Bradley rounds out the top five on the track here tonight. The Lems Auto Recyclers Sportsman A feature. And again, Alec Andres. 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 Alec, you're a trophy presenter still. Got time, get on down on the track and uh, present that trophy, Alec. All right, we got Alec up here in the announcer's booth. He's gonna... All right, Alec's uh, getting directions down to the track and he's going to present this trophy. I still didn't get the right pronunciation on that last name. I did. All right, good. Your A feature winner, meanwhile, is out of the car. How about a hand for the 14K of Bryant Clawson? And Joel Viss is down trackside. We'll get a word from the winner.
All right, Jay Kelly down here in Pizza Ranch Victory Lane here. We're with Brian Clausen. Brian, you have had a fast car each and every week here. As long as you can avoid the bad luck bug, it seems like you got one of the cars to beat. Yeah, bad luck that happens to everyone, though. It's part of racing, you know. You never know what can happen. Well, each and every time you get on the racetrack, you're a lot of fun to watch. You uh, put the hammer down and you just go. Uh, how close do you know that Brian Crone is right on your bumper? I don't know. I get out and my dad's saying he's right there. So I'm like, geez, I, it's kind of hard to tell when you're in front, you know. You can't really tell what's behind you. But I guess he was pretty close. So. Well, you just run your line and that's what you got to do, correct? Yeah, that's right. Well, sir, congratulations. Welcome to Victory Lane. Brian Clausen, your A feature winner. All right, the 14K of Brian Clausen bringing it home here tonight for the Sportsman A feature.